Yo, what's up, what's up, YouTube? How you doing? This is your boy, Kuya Smalls. And today, we got to be talking about the Moto G Status. This is a phone that is out at Metro PCS. And I just want to give you my full review on this device and why I think you should go out and pick this device out at Metro PCS because I think this is one of the best budget devices out there that have HDR. And what I mean by HDR, you could go to YouTube and watch native HDR on this device. You know, this is not a flash device. This device offer HDR features on here, but it only work on certain applications. It doesn't work on Netflix, and I have not tried it on Hulu Plus, but I know for a fact it do work on uh, Amazon Prime and others like YouTube. So this device is one of my favorite device, and this is a Moto G phone. So. This is still one a 2020 device. If you want to pick this device up, I would say go and pick this up because the display and the cutter on here is really popping. And yes, this might be an LCD display, but the black levels on here is really, really good. And you can see that with the Spider-Man uh, right here, the modest, modest uh, Spider-Man right here. So... Um, I designed this right here. I customized this right here myself uh, for y'all guys. So what what can I say about this device? Now, one thing I can say about this, I shoot all my YouTube videos losing this device right here and my main device. So I do have another one like this, but I lose that one to suit my YouTube device on there so i do a whole bunch of youtube edit on this device and i transfer it all the way up to youtube i send it and upload it to youtube but this have one of the best camera on here for a mid-range device at metro and what i mean is once you go into the camera application on uh, not youtube <laughs> but once you go into the camera application you just go right here you just hit camera and I have a couple cameras, but this look like this is the white camera right here. Let me make sure that the white one. Okay. And this is the camera that automatic come with this device. Now I cut down the volume, the brightness because sometimes some videos get too bright. But this is the way how I always film. And I lose action camera right here. So when I film it on this device, I lose an action camera to film all my native uh, device on here. And the camera feature got a whole bunch of load of features that you can see on here. So you got portrait, you got cut out, you got micro, uh, spot cutter, night vision, cinema grid, um, this life fit does. Then you got more right here. So you can see how the camera really work. So one thing I can say about this camera on this device, I have a 16 megapixel front camera, and then you got a 848 megapixel back camera with another 16 back camera. And then you got two more cameras right here. And both of them are two megapixel cameras. For some reason, they did not offer a five megapixel camera on both of these. So both of these is two. That sucks. But uh, you got one for macro lens right here and one for depth. So um, it's such to see that you're not able to get what you really want on here. But I don't lose the macro lens or that. So I always try to lose something else on this device but this is a great phone and a great camera to pick up motor order did a really actually a good job and also i want to talk about the pen right here on the fingerprint but i also want to give you the pen right here so i know you might don't see it but this is what the pen go at so i cannot really show you on camera 
But trust me, this why they call it the motor. Because this tried to do what on um, the LG side of sets doing right now. And this will never, ever, ever beat the S pen of the Samsung Galaxy series, Note series at all. But Sunday it might, Sunday it just won't. But for right now, I am grateful to do a video and review on this device and give you my thoughts on him. Now, sound quality, you have dual speaker on it. You got a fire speaker right here. Then you got another speaker on the bottom. So, high sound quality on here is very loud. This gets super loud uh, for a mid-range. And this don't have no crush at all. It don't have no value crush. Everything just straight out from the book. And this is a great phone if you're looking for a good basic phone. This would do. Uh, this would do because cut the cutters on here is just pop out very nice. So when I look at the cutters and the PPI, it's a, a 405 PPI for this. You'd be a prize how well this quality look on your 1080p and 60 frames with HDR pop really good. So I don't have no video. I, if I had a video to show you, Cause right now my internet is off, so this is the only way I could do a review on here for you. So when next time I do a separate review, it gotta be a full tutorial about this device. But for right now, I check in you what I like about it. So this just say this is a meeting review. So I will see y'all on the next video. If you like it, if you don't, put it up like or put it down like. And please, subscribe on my channel and support me. Peace.